when we are finding the nth term, the first thing we need to do is to find the differences between each of the parts in our sequence. So between 3 and 9, we have 6. Between 9 and 19, we have 10. Between 33 and 19, we have 14. And between 51 and 33, we have 18. We can see these are not the same numbers, so we need to go down to another level. Between 6 and 10, we have 4. Between 10 and 14, we have and between 14 and 18 we have 4. Now because it's gone down to two levels that tells us it's an n squared and because it's 4 we need to half that and go to 2. So we have 2n squared. I'm just going to draw a line there to make it easy for you to see where we finished. So what I'm going to do is write our n numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2n squared, which is what we've worked out so far. So 1 squared is 1 times 2 gives us 2. 2 squared is 4 times 2 gives us 8. 3 squared is 9 um, plus times 2 gives us 18. 4 squared is 16 times 2 gives us 32. 5 squared is 25 times 2 gives us 50. Now we need to look at the difference. What do we need to do to get from our 2m squared to our original sequence? To go from 2 to 3, we need to add 1. 8 to 9, we need to add 1. Um, 18 to 19, we need to add 1. 33 to 32, we need to add 1. 50 to 51, we need to add 1. So we can say to our original sequence is 2n squared. We then need to add 1.